students. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Alrighty, let's get down to business. Let the lead all of you. And this is a uh, full spell book. Objects.supply equals full spell book. Add full spell book, I think, is an option. Nope. Okay. Add spell book. Set. Oh, I remember. Set content 0x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's a long. Uh, is that a problem in UberScript? I can't really remember. So that makes it a full spell book. So UberScript long. Uh, can I do longs? I don't think I can. Um, is there a full spellbook function in Uberscript? Maybe I should just make a way to make a long integer. You in oh yeah there it is. Convert input into which I think I can convert a string. You int sixty four. Spellbook which is a supply dot content equals U N sixty four. Zero X one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen. If you didn't know why this is what it is, it's called a bit flag. Look up bit flag on the internet. Bit flag, like bit as in zero one. And then we're gonna do add supply, add supply function. All right, and the other thing. So I'm not sure if that's gonna work or not, but we'll find out soon enough. We got reagents, reagents, and potions. And the potion in this case we want. I think there's like a bag of reagents, but why don't we just uh, add bag of reagents? It's like 50 of each, yeah. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't need this part here. We do need this part here. Now, potion. So we're going to want, what, add greater heal potion. Add greater heal potion. Greater heal potion. Potion dot amount. I think we can on rel pour we implement it so you can stack potions, which is pretty cool. Equals. Let's give them five. Five potions. Greater cure potions. Let's give them three of those. Eh, five is fine. Whatever. Greater or poison or deadly poison. Let's do greater poison. Eh, deadly poison. Potion. And greater explosion potion. We'll add ten of those. Eh, five. All right. Uber Gump reset two. 
Reagents. All right, we got our bag of reagents. Potions. We got our stacks of potions. And if we click it again, we get more potions, I think. Yep. And drink our deadly poison and drink our things. And, and uh, full spell book. Did that work? Oh, we got a, uh, we got an, ooh, we're, we got an error. We're wearing a string to date time. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to have to fix this. I'm sorry. This convert to you int thing is just, that's just lame. You got to be a little smarter than that, my friend. If input is a string, then return input dot, or string, or uh, let's see, long dot parse input. All right. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Oh, it doesn't like it? What is it? Uh, I don't know your object to string. Oh. Well, I know it's a string because I tested that. But let's cast it as a string because it needs to know what the data type is. It's a strongly typed language. It's almost lunchtime. Oh, what the heck? Oh, you long. Fine. Int 64. Wait, wait a second. Spellbook might not actually be an int 64. It might be you. It might be a uh, signed into the content. Where's my content? It is an unsigned. Okay, so that is good. Looks like I don't have a regular int 64, which is kind of weird. Do I? Too long to in 64. Okay, this is a 64 bit integer. You gotta have more bits to store a larger number. That's what that's all about. But it should be ready to roll. Uber reset. Change equipment. Give me my full spell book. Oh, doesn't like it. What's the matter? Hold on one sec. All right, it's lunchtime. Um, so yeah, I think we got pretty much everything. So anyway, I might be back on after lunch. We'll see. Thanks for stopping by.